let us solve a question on homothetic and homogeneous functions the question is let h is equal to e to the power q where e is the exponential function and q is equal to a times x to the power alpha times y to the power beta consider the following statements and we need to find out uh, which statements are correct first statement is q is homogeneous function for all values of alpha and beta okay we will see one by one okay so the first statement says that q is a homogeneous function for all values of alpha and beta what is q and let us write it here q is a function of x and y we need to see whether the first statement is correct or not and which is equal to a times x to the power alpha y to the power beta okay by homogeneous function what we mean and let me write it here we say uh, a function f of x y i am saying a function f of x y is homogeneous homogeneous of degree n okay i am saying this function is homogeneous of degree n if when we increase each variable by let us say lambda x and we increase y also by lambda and if we get a function that is equal to lambda raised power n f of x y i am saying this function is homogeneous of degree n if each input is increased by a, a you know factor lambda and if we get lambda raised power n times the original function i am saying that this function is homogeneous of degree n here okay now is this function a, a homogeneous function for that what we need to do if we increase both x by lambda let us see what happens here and y by lambda lambda y what happens so we have only two variables a is a constant here so we have lambda raised power x sorry lambda x raised power alpha times lambda y raised power beta let us see what happens here so we can do one thing here we have a it becomes lambda raised power alpha x to the power alpha here lambda raised power beta y to the power beta and we can write it in this fashion that is lambda here we have lambda raised power alpha lambda raised power beta uh, bases are same we can add up the exponents it becomes alpha plus beta and we are left with a x to the power alpha y to the power beta okay and we can rewrite this in this fashion that is lambda raised power alpha plus beta and this function is our original function that is q f of x q sorry x and y q is a function of x and y okay we have seen here when both x was increased by factor lambda y was increased by factor lambda we got it equal to lambda raised power alpha plus beta time is the ordinal function so we can say that this uh, q is homogeneous function okay of degree alpha plus beta okay we are being not uh, given any restrictions on the alpha and beta here so we say this statement is correct okay now comes the next uh, statement we are being told h is homothetic function for all values of alpha and beta okay we need to see whether this statement is correct or not so by homothetic function what we mean a function and uh, let me write it here homo uh, you know the definition of the homotheticity a function a function a function let us say f of x y is said to be said to be homothetic jo m o okay kya chahiye um a function this function is said to be homothetic a function if it is monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function 
function. Getting confused? No problem. I will explain this definition. What I am saying, and let me write it here, uh, f of xy. I am saying this function is homothetic only if we have a strictly increasing function, what we call the monotonic transformation. Let's denote it by, let us say, capital F. Okay. If it is monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function, let us say G of xy is a homogeneous function. I am saying this, uh, you know, f of x, y is homothetic. It is homothetic. I am saying f of x, y is homothetic function. If we have two functions, one is a strictly increasing function, s, t, r, i, c, t, l, y, strictly increasing, increasing function, and a homogeneous function. homogeneous function this function is homothetic only if it is a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function so far that we should have a homogeneous function and it is monotonic transformation then we say that f of x y is a homothetic function now let us come to this part let us see here we have h is a homothetic function for all values of x and oh, sorry alpha and beta so what is our h so h is given us as e to the power q can i write it in this fashion f of sorry h of x y is equal to e to the power so q is our a x to the power alpha y to the power beta okay so can i write this function in this fashion that is can I rewrite it as h of x comma y uh, is equal to is equal to let us denote f capital F uh, which is a function of let me write it here capital F q of x y so if I am able to write this h in this fashion, then I say that h is homothetic function. Why? Because h of x, y is equal to e to the power q. q is another function and I can rewrite it uh, in this fashion. If you are getting confused, let's write h of x, y is equal to e to the power q of x, y. Okay? So, this h is homothetic function it is homothetic function why because it is a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function this q x y is our homogeneous function homogeneous function and this e so we know e is a strictly increasing function e is strictly increasing function increasing function i am saying that h of x y this h is homothetic function because it is a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function q of x y is homogeneous function this is homogeneous function which we proved in the first part and f is a strictly increasing function because we know the exponential function is strictly increasing function okay so we say f is monotonic transform or strictly increasing function so this option is also correct now the third uh, option is q is homogeneous function only if alpha plus beta is equal to one it is saying that q is homogeneous only okay no it's not correct q is homogeneous for all values of x you know alpha and beta and this would have been correct if it is being told like this q is homogeneous function um sorry so this cannot be correct here it is a specific case here but in general q is homogeneous function for all values of 
alpha and beta okay it is not uh, necessary that alpha plus beta should be equal to one so this option is incorrect h is not a homogeneous function is h a homogeneous function let us see here and let me see if i have the space okay i have a space now we need to prove the th uh, you know uh e h is not homogeneous function i guess it is true and let us see how so we know h is equal to e to the power uh, q and q is equal to a uh, x to the power alpha y to the power beta so we can uh, rewrite it so let me write h as a function of h as a function of x and y okay can i if i increase if i increase both x by lambda y by lambda so what happens here so i will get e to the power a uh, lambda x raised power alpha uh, lambda y raised power beta so i can rewrite it in this fashion that is e if i uh, you know take uh, lambdas out i will get a function of form lambda alpha plus beta and i will get uh, a so these are all in the exponents here then i will get a x to the power alpha y to the power beta i am not getting this in this fashion this lambda is we cannot take out lambda uh, you know as common here so it would have been a homogeneous function if lambda was here okay if lambda alpha plus beta was here if it if it was the coefficient of e since we have lambda in the exponent um, in the you know as the exponent we say that it is not homogeneous okay this statement is correct h is not homogeneous E option is saying Q is not a homogeneous function. In the first part, we proved that Q is a homogeneous function. So this is not correct. Okay. So I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.